Hey, so we're here again trying to fix an error code 11504, which does mention a unknown feed location. So we checked on the Ace Pro there, nothing was in there. But when we opened up the printer, we did find something in the PTFE line over there, in the extruder. So we'll be opening that up right over there. Can you hit that like and sub? Thanks. And upon further inspection, we did find the silver filament stuck in there. Now, there are multiple things that can happen with this. It's either a very deep clog or jam, which we do need to fully disassemble the printer if you do want to salvage your print. So right now we have at least a day print in here and I really want to uh, save this print no matter what, but you know, we'll work with what we have here. So we, we open up the uh, extruded housing over there. For context, I've been using a very old silver filament, which has been around for around three or something years, I don't know. But yeah, you could see a lot of stringing from that. And I just continue with disassembling the uh, extruder there. And later on, I do get some extra filament so that I can squeeze out the brittle pieces of filament stuck in the PTFE line. So you can grab a few uh, meters of uh, filament you do have and squeeze it in there so before you do that you can disconnect the uh, filament hub over there which i do show so i squeeze in the filament right on the other side and then on the other side the broken filament or bits and pieces of the silver filament would go out from that so we fully push this in up until we get that piece and just to be sure we do push out the purple filament until we do feel the end of it just to be safe that nothing's in there because there's a tiny piece that you know it, it can happen like those tiny little bits of pieces can be stuck in there for this part we try to unmount the cutting module which we do see there so it's around three screws i do somewhat get confused in the middle of this so excuse that but mostly three screws in there just uh, replay the video and also if you do need a more comprehensive disassembly and assembly guide you can check out my playlist which does have the hot end extruder ace pro everything for the cobra s1 essentially so you can hop into there, I'll try to link it below so that you guys can have a better reference. And now we're unmounting the pressure sensor. Same thing, it has uh, three screws. And uh, the more trickier screws to remove were the ones on the cutting sensor and module plus the extruder mounting screws. So those all in all would give you around nine screws. So be careful. So we try to open up the extruder and we see our problem over there. Uh, my extruder tension was too tight. Not a problem. We can untighten it and remove the filament right over there. So now we have the jam gone and we can proceed with reassembling the piece. So just hopefully nothing flies off, especially the filament trigger and the spring there. So just put everything back in and carefully mount it on the pressure sensor again. So now we're at the assembly part again. And at this stage of the fix, we've basically altered our Z offset. So there's a high possibility where you'd see a different Z where it's kind of skipping or it can be a bit too close. So this is sort of a gamble if you do want to proceed with resuming your print. I'd highly suggest you to restart the print if possible but if you're left with no choice you can proceed with the uh, video right here and something i forgot to mention is that the extruder tension earlier that i fixed needs to be somewhat in the middle so that it can still feed the filament going in and out of the uh, extruder unit so just be mindful of that once that it's done you can insert the black collar and then the ptfe line and then screw in those screws that we use early so the first screw i did there was a mistake uh, you'll see later on in the video i had to remove it so that i can insert the filament cutting module so right there 
I made a mistake of inserting it because it was hidden on the left side of that was the uh, extruder mount screw. So I removed this screw right here and screw the right one where it's supposed to be. So that's the location. Be careful with the wires because if you do screw them in while the wires are in the way, there's a high possibility you'd actually damage the wires. And now I'm just taking my time with putting in the cutting module, rerouting the wires here. And one of my main complaints with the Cobra S1 is the cable management on the extruder side. I wish they did a better job with routing the wires here because it is really prone to a lot of uh, wires being cut or damaged. Um, that aside, we're screwing everything in, checking if the cutting module is working. So, and there's one more there underneath. And just making sure that the sensor is in place, wires are intact, rerouting again. What's your thoughts on the Cobra S1? Do you like it? Comment down below. Inserting the blue clip and putting back the extruder housing. So be careful with the extruder housing, the black wire over there. That's for the part cooling fan as far as I know. I've seen a lot of people uh, break that break that black wire over there. And before you do resume it, make sure to put in the uh, EDFE line on the uh, filament detection module. So now that that is sorted out, we can resume the print and it's working. So if everything was done right, it should print. Now, the, the bad part here is that we did change the Z position and that changed Z position would result in that line over there. That's one of the uh, bad effects on doing the uh, fix we're, we're doing right now. And it's one of the bigger pain points with, with petrol filament. So now we proceed with error code 11511, which uh, does mention extrusion abnormal. So we'll figure out what uh, what's the problem with the extrusion abnormal there. So first thing I do is always check the filament path. And in this case, it was stuck around the filament detection module. So we just extract it up there, pulling it manually, and just tracing out where the filament could have messed up. So in this case, inside the Ace Pro, it did crumble. This is a very old piece of filament, and we proceed with removing the bits and pieces. Once that is done, you can feed it manually again. Double check and before you do feed it, just remember to put back the uh, PTFE line on the filament detection and click on confirm and you can now resume your print. Assuming that that was the only thing causing the extrusion of normal. Now, there's a few different ways to check on it, but yeah, for, for me, this one worked. You could see it continued printing way past the point where we did have the first error code. And that's one of the bigger pain points with dealing with a multi-material print, especially if you're using very old or wet filament, you will encounter a lot of cut filament like that, which is quite a pain. So in my case, I did succeed with the print and I just continued the next printing parts. And yeah, hopefully you guys could fix your printer. Uh, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.